Greetings everyone. Uh, I was not expecting to be resuming this campaign so soon, but I'm awake and I need some time to wind down, so let's have a go at this campaign. I've already made my other okay moves, we've got some watch towers, and we can do a couple of mine completed. We can probably build some more than this, actually. And I've already messed up. But let's keep going. What I should have done was built some cavalry. Here. I think I'll actually change between them and Pictus Warriors because you don't need too many cavalry uh, in this game. I'm just going to need to shuffle over a little more south because I am getting ready, obviously, for an invasion of uh, Mercia. It doesn't look like the enemy has started to get House Carls yet, but. This is what I'm racing against. I know that the English factions are eventually going to start deploying Huskarls. So I need to bring them down before that gets underway. Now I could make a strike on this province here, and I think I will, actually. The goal will be to try and drive Mercia out of their recruitment sites. Move the crossbowmen in here. We can hold El Elmet, which I do not know how to pronounce. I'm very sorry for that. Cumbrai, that's obviously Cumbria. Uh, oops. How's my unrest doing? I can very quickly get out of control. Do we have public order in Peck Saitan? Good. Uh, that means we can launch a, at least something of a diversionary strike into the next province. What are we facing here? Archers? Hmm, cavalry could actually come in handy. Thing is, if I move too many troops in, this province will revolt. Let's have a look. Okay. I... I think I will leave the archers, the crossbows, at home. I'm not even sure if I'm going to attack here. My target is Mears. Okay. Just keep walking people down south. I'll be back once I've done the economic upgrades. Very much going in for military infrastructure right now because I think our economy can take it. Okay, here we go. Well, let's take a look at this. Prince Harold, they have a much better general. Yeah, we're not going to win this, but... Oh, no. They got them. They got the Saxon house girls. Oh dear. Now I have a problem. Right. I need to kill those Huskarls and take Mears before they can build up their forces. There really is no alternative to that. Just continue to move our forces south, that way I've got this full army at my disposal. They're really just a garrison, aren't they? Send these men south, that way we've got access to all of our forces. Hmm. You just keep bringing troops south. I need to know what I'm dealing with here. Oh good. We've got an excellent general. He's just come of age. That will ease things significantly. I've got all the economy I need. What I need is more troop production. I'm going to go for the stockade here. Um... Horse breeder sounds nice, given that that's where we train our cavalry. 
uh, just immediately go for the stockade here. Got a bit of cash to splash at the moment. Anywhere else where I could be getting more or better troops. That's our shipbuilding provinces. We really don't need to focus on the military side of things there. I think I'll go for the meat hall because that will give me better infantry and that's probably all we can afford for just now considering that we're also training troops. Um, all troops into Mercia, that's going to be where we strike. And I'm also going to make a full-blown attack on Broken Sison. Note that we've got the much better general now as well. Hopefully that will be enough to overcome the insane strength of these uh, Saxon Huskarls. Of course, if we're unlucky, the enemy might withdraw, because I do want to bring them to battle now. Next turn. Oh great, the Welsh have attacked us. Hmm. In the right terrain, I might be able to do something about this. That probably sounds insane to anyone watching, but cavalry are really, really bad in forests. And we have a lot to pick the spearmen. So if I can use them and the crossbowmen to my advantage, I might be able to do something with this. The only thing is, problem is, unlike archers, crossbowmen can't fight at all in melee. They are really, really bad at it. Uh, I think your archers might at least occasionally kill. Oh, great. We are the, it's one of these battlefields where you're the defenders, but they have the hell, which is always infuriating. Any way I can change things around a little bit. Okay. We're going to try and position our troops here so they're fighting in the woodland. The only issue is that my crossbows won't be able to fire well from this position. Uh, I haven't played this game in a long time, let's just see how it goes. Maybe we stay really quiet, they won't see us. Okay. Okay, try and catch the cavalry on the hop. There's so many banners on the cavalry. We are causing casualties to the Welsh bodyguards. Uh, and their unit size is much smaller, but we've got two of these bodyguard units to fight. I mean, if I can kill a Welsh prince, that will at least be something. Oh god, but the archers are here too. I'm going to start withdrawing. We're not going to win this. I'm hoping. And they're taking the long way. Okay. Um. The AI always does this thing where it takes, it holds up for just long enough. Got to hold them at least for a moment. Got to give the Welsh, the uh, Celtic warriors, time to defeat the Welsh bodyguards. Oh God! What are you doing? Hurry up! Is this a 
against the water. At least the archers managed to bring down their own men there. Slaughtered by the perfidious foe. That wasn't a surprise. Well, we have to now. We've been cut off. Uh, Why am I saving an Iron Man campaign? Let's go. I don't like anything about this. Right. Now we're dealing with two units of archers and two units of thirdmen. Let's set up our infantry. We probably want our archers over on the flanks. General's back here. He can in a pinch fight. Maybe as a flanking force, but obviously as one man, he can't do much on his own. But he may prove decisive. Even one Six Valor bodyguard is a powerful force on the battlefield. The other thing is, I think because my troops are cut off from retreat, they, um... They will fight harder because they know they've got nowhere to go. I know there's going to be an archer duel, so let's just hurry up and put our crossbows into loose formation. There's a trick I learned in Shogun to the war. If the enemy go after my archers, then they'll open up their flanks to my infantry. So that's why I'm putting my archers on the flanks. Keep our flanking force close behind. I think I'll actually bring my cavalry out onto the sides of the battlefield. General should be close behind. Okay, here come the enemy archers. Now, if the opportunity's right, I might manage to get them. They've got bodyguards as well. Thing is, if I just charge my cavalry out, then the other archer unit will get them. I probably shouldn't have fought this in the rain, given that my crossbows are actually an important part of my force. Okay, beginner's mistake. Don't. Troops separate. We're not winning the arch duel. Enemy archers are moving out, I may be able to do something with that. I think they're all... Actually, if we can try and draw the far out into an attack, might get them into a position they don't want to be in. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not going to let you do that. Tell them to go back. While their spears are distracted with our... We're going to come in and we're going to kill the bird. Kill the bird. I want the crossbows to start to close in on this. The royal bodyguards might be going after my cavalry here. Keep those Celtic warriors close and in the fight. There's an opportunity here. So the crossbows are going to take the brunt of that charge. And as they do so, yep, they've gone straight into the sides of the, the spearmen of cotton in the flanks. Don't know why I let that happen. That worked. I didn't even plan for that last part, where uh, the route, the as the pursuit happened, they went straight into the side of the cavalry. I was going to try and hit them with the second unit. Try and disentangle one of these units. Go after the enemy archers, or even better, the enemy infantry. Surround that unit of enemy infantry and get the cavalry in as well. That's what I've been waiting for. move our general up to start attacking the archers. We've won this battle. Uh, like, the come. enemy general has been slain. Finally. And even Not now fine. his body is being borne away. That should panic the bird. Good. Right. Leave the cavalry to chase them down. They're already on top of them. Get after any remaining enemy infantry. Yeah, the archers are going to get away. Okay, well at least our entire army didn't end up getting encircled and slaughtered in uh, northern Mercia. The joys of slaughtering your enemies at 4 a.m. in the morning. I know I'm going to come clean. Trying to stand my ground in Pek Satan was a really bad idea. I basically threw those units away. Uh, and that's going to make my counter attack more difficult. With a bit of luck we have at least killed one of the Welsh princes, but it, was, it really wasn't worth it. And that came down to my one being out of practice and two I tend to not know when to retreat. I am often very reluctant to cede the territory, even when I know I'm going to lose. So I think that came back to haunt me here. Okay. Yeah, they're not getting those guys back. That's bad news. Well, it's not entirely bad news, because that means that they can't produce any more... Um, 
Yeah, I will stick to the It means they can't produce any more hot scarves, and that's crucial. Hmm, Saxon leader. If it gives me a chance to peel off the um, Mercians from another. Honestly, if we crush the Mercians, then. There's the thing, that would at least give me a peace treaty, and I don't mind giving up Hexatan to the Welsh if it means peace. Um, the only thing is, is that I kind of want to take Hexatan back, and more to the point, I don't trust the Welsh to keep the peace treaty. I never trust the AI. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take that. Because I don't trust the AI. They're just going to wait until I drop my guard and then they're going to attack me again. Um, and that's even with them offering a princess. What I'm trying to say is don't trust anyone because the moment you trust them, they will uh, just let you down and murder you. You'll notice that this army is all peasants, and I think we can deal with an army of all peasants, even if they've got Huskarls backing them up. We do really need to be careful of this Huskarl unit, though, and the peasants on their own aren't useless. They will tie our units down, um, especially since I'm lacking infantry at the moment. Uh, you... Let's continue to bring our horde south. This Welsh attacks throwing me off now. Uh, we have the money for it. I may hire some mercenaries. It's currently late at night here. I think I'm going to give it a call today here. Again, this may not be a regular thing, but I just wanted to get back into this. And uh, obviously, I play both uh, Field of Glory 2 and Total War, and I really just wanted to give the Total War uh, people something to watch so um, thank you for watching this video and uh, I will see you next time farewell